So I'm Jeremy Tillman, founder and CEO of trainup.com and Knowledge Flow. How many of you were not in my session earlier today where I talked about humanization of nature? Not too many, okay, good. So if you were there, this is kind of the, the answer to all of that. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited to tell you about our platform, our technology, how it was rooted, and where we're, where we're headed. I always start with my why, um, because I think it's important that we are motivated for, for a real reason. Um, in that picture is a picture of my son, who's four now, holding a picture of all my brothers and sisters. And though we grew up in public housing in Alabama, where less than 5% of the African Americans in our town went to college, 100% of my household attended college. One of my brothers didn't, didn't finish, but that's a pretty um, amazing statistic. And that was due to my mom and her, her uh, heartbeat for education. And that's my crew now that I get to pass on these these great concepts of education. But that's what we founded our company on, um, to really empower growth and shape the future of learning. Something um, really interesting happened about three years ago, or four years ago probably, it was, it was really inkling. We had the opportunity to train up.com. We were growing, uh, we were coordinating training for companies all over. We've had 60,000 companies buy training from us all across the, the world. We had a global client that had about 30,000 employees, 50,000 contractors, and they were using our system for learning management, performance management, tuition reimbursement, individual development planning. And when we first um, worked with them, they had a 33% completion score on their perform annual performance reviews. And that was a problem that we were solving for. And so I was in their offices um, in a big city. I drew a solution on the board. That's what entrepreneurs do. Two weeks later, they sent me a picture of that board and said, hey, Jeremy, can you build it? And that's one of the things I want to say. When it takes about entrepreneurship, we actually, as organizations like myself, need companies who are willing to somewhat, sometimes take that little risk and take that step. And so I said, of course we can build it. I never built a performance management system before, but yeah. So first year in our system, they had an 88% completion rate. First year. So we're patting ourselves on the back. We're really excited. Um, fast forward six years, that expands to 14 languages, 20 countries, global solution, um, all that great stuff. And then I woke up one day and I realized that my systems have lost their innovation, that I'm producing lagging, not leading indicators. If that company had asked me, help me identify who the top innovators in my company were, what kind of data was I going to give them? Performance review data, is this some manager rated someone high in innovation as a competency? Is that enough? How would you and your organizations know who your real innovators are? Could your data today tell you? And unfortunately, even in this room, I won't ask you to raise your hands because it's embarrassing that it will probably be a larger number than we suspect. And that's why um, I did something pretty wild. I didn't take any new clients on my platform. And I said, we want to reimagine, we want to re reinvent. Um, that's been uh, really a lot of fun and a lot of challenge and a lot of research and some debates with our investors. Um, so the results of that, however, is knowledge for us, our next gen um, platform. And we're super duper excited about it. It's really four platforms in one, um, but they're so well connected together. So I'm going to tell you about those. First thing we realize is that um, feedback is seen as negative within organizations, yet at the same time, employees crave feedback. And that's probably because we just really had a bad habit of not understanding and not giving feedback well, not asking for feedback well. Um, and we love engagement. We love what Glint's doing, a lot of the companies out there. But we also want to know who's actually doing great work. And so what we do is we built uh, this feedback methodology, acknowledge and encourage. And so all the feedback in the system is that simple. It's an acknowledgement or an encouragement, and encouragement requires comments. So let's dive into the platform. First part is talent flow, where we've really reimagined the way that you give and receive feedback. We're not replacing your performance review. We work with your system. We work with your organization's processes. But we give you a way to collect real-time data, anytime, anywhere, on how people are actually performing um, at their job. What we found is that employees crave feedback in the moment, in the now. Not pats on the back for the great work they did last month, definitely not last year, but the work they're doing right now. And so. Our platform allows you to bring um, that information in. And we want to tie to something very specific, a skill, a competency, a project, a task. So all the way down to that project work. And what we found is that often when we're giving great, uh, we're delivering great results, that feedback isn't necessarily always coming from internal. Sometimes it's coming from external. And so our platform allows you to be able to get external feedback. You can put in a phone number or an email and send someone a request. Or you can, there's multiple ways to, to, to grab that. 
But people get um, simple. You acknowledge, you encourage, or you ignore. And when people actually push ignore, that has meaning too um, in, that, in that process. If you encourage, you're required to leave comments, and that's it. Really simple. We want it to take a matter of seconds because um, we want people to be able to grow in real time. And that's going to give you a view of internal, external. You can do all sorts of things with the data. Um, connect. You want to give people a sense of their own talent profile, their own feel, and give that employee the, the charge to take, to take that back and connect to learning opportunities, coaching opportunities, all those things. But really, the, heart of, uh, the heartbeat of our system, and which aligns with our core business, is really training flow. Where in our research, this is the area we felt like the most innovation was needed in a corporate America. And so we've really reimagined the way that we learn. When you think about how humans learn and then how we deliver learning in corporate America, sometimes there's misalignment. Um, Burst is a big believer of this as well. We want to move companies from traditional to, to modern. Um, and the biggest thing our platform lets you do is it removes your learning silos to help you begin learning together. Um, and we do that in a unique way. We actually build community around content, not around people. Community around content. So uh, take a cultural awareness guide you might have in your system. Um, in training flow, what we do is we bring that in. You, you, you launch into your LMS the same way you would. It launches in the training flow window. And we can ask people in your organization one simple question. What's one thing you wish you had known the first time you went to Brazil that you didn't know? And others in your organization can benefit from that shared knowledge. Same thing with your video-based content. We can bring it to life, um, build connectivity around that content. But one of the greatest areas we realize that we're creating silos is even in our instructor-led learning that happens within our organizations. So training.com coordinates training for companies. And we send great experts down to their, their site to deliver a two-day workshop on, say, design thinking, critical thinking and problem solving. And then our instructor's off teaching somewhere else. What if we really left that company? And I realized we're, we're part of the problem. And so what we do now, what we're moving to, is creating um, an experience, a continuous learning experience. So this is a continuous learning platform. So we had a company, large global company, wanted us to send an instructor down. They had 27 high posts coming from 20 different countries and for two days of training. And then our instructor is going to be gone. So normally, what do you think happens in the first couple of hours of class when 27 people from 20 different countries get together? So, yeah. Now, we do know the first time we hear something is the time we retain, we retain the least. So what we do in the platform is we build that pre-community where they get to meet each other. They just open up their phone, and we ask them to do one-minute introduction and tell us something about you that we didn't know. And they get to video themselves for that minute. That goes in the pre-community. What it does is it brings down the walls. You get to know that everyone has an accent, that it's not just you. It's OK. You know? And all those concepts that we're going to be teaching them, they get to pre-learn before they get there, so they're not hearing it for the first time. So now they're more ready. And then afterwards, we want to know how they're applying that learning in their jobs. So what you get to do is in the post community, you get to tell us your stories of how you successfully or unsuccessfully applied that learning. Um, if we had had this platform with, with Pafal, we could have begun engaging in the conversation well before. You could have even uploaded your stories. And I could have heard about your story as part of um, my talk, since it was all about stories if you were, if you were um, part of that. And this is the kind of engagements that we want to be able to build in the future. Um, and so those are just some, some examples. And then we want to continue that conversation afterwards. We had a lot of conversation in, in our session earlier. How do we continue those in a meaningful way? How do we capture your stories and continue to learn and grow together in this private niche community? Um, that's what our platform allows, as well as the ability to track informal learning um, and bring that in. And the big thing is we can do uh, impact ROI, which has been told that you can't do. If you're collecting feedback and talent flow, you're able to detect trends. So if somebody is constantly being encouraged in the area of time management, did the training actually work? We sent them to a formal training on time management on this date. What are their feedback trends after that learning? Did their encouragements decrease? Did the acknowledgements increase? So we can take a look at how impactful that, that training was over time. So that's just some examples of how we're bringing that to life um, in the real world, in the platform. Lots more parts to it um, as well, but thanks for, thanks for your time today. I'm out of time. But um, we look forward to chatting more. Okay. <laughs>